Modern chemistry promises rot-proof wood, waterproof wood, fire-resistant wood, yet Viking builders accomplished all three without a single synthetic product. Many of their timber structures from over 1,000 years ago remain standing today, and archaeologists still find Viking ships whose planks are stronger than modern treated lumber. The secret wasn't magic, it was a multi-stage preservation strategy that modern builders abandoned for speed, mass production, and convenience. But if you follow the process, Viking-treated timber still outperforms today's best sealants, stains, and preservatives. This is the forgotten strategy that made Viking wood nearly immortal. Step 1. Winter felling. The Viking advantage begins in the forest. The Viking process didn't start in the workshop, it began in the forest. Scandinavian loggers knew that wood felled at the wrong time rotted quickly, warped badly and soaked up water like a sponge. So, they harvested timber only during midwinter, when sap flow was lowest, during freeze-thaw cycles that tightened the fibers, and in those dry cold weeks, which really slowed fungal spread. Winter felled wood contains fewer carbohydrates which means less food for fungi, fewer rot pathways, and honestly, far better stability. Modern forestry confirms the science behind the old method but most commercial lumber today is cut year-round for efficiency. The Vikings knew better. Step 2. Ocean Seasoning. Salt as nature's preservative. This is the step that made Viking wood nearly invincible, and honestly, it remains the most misunderstood. Logs were dragged to the coastline and soaked in seawater, sometimes for months. Why? Well, because seawater did three remarkable things. First, salt replaced internal moisture, entering the cellular structure. Second, minerals killed rot-causing microbes. And third, Fibers hardened as the brine evaporated. Salt crystal penetration is something, honestly, that modern sealants just cannot replicate. The wood began to behave almost like treated mineralized timber, flexible, moisture-resistant, and extremely stable. Ocean seasoning is one reason Viking ships survived brutal storms and long voyages without splitting. Step 3. Fire Hardening, the Char Shield. Before modern paints, stains, or pressure treatments existed, the Vikings used fire. They lightly charred the outer surface of timber using hot coals, birch tar torches, and iron paddles heated in flame. So, this wasn't just burning, it was more like a controlled scorch, which created a carbon-rich waterproof layer, a natural insect barrier, rot resistance, UV protection, and, yeah, even greater surface hardness. The technique is actually pretty much identical to what Japan later perfected as Shosugi Ban. Except, you know, the Vikings combined it with resin treatments, which gave them even better results. Fire alone doubled the lifespan of wood, but the next step made it nearly eternal. Step 4. Resin Saturation, the Viking Super Sealant. After charring, the wood was coated and soaked in hot natural resins. Vikings were experts at making waterproof mixtures using, a uh, pine resin, which is highly hydrophobic, birch tar, which is insect-repelling and antifungal, and animal fats for flexibility and deep penetration. These were heated until liquid, then brushed or poured onto the timber. Heat opened the pores, resin sank deep. As it cooled, the resin solidified inside the wood, something modern paints and stains cannot do. The result was a flexible, waterproof, rot-proof barrier that remained effective for decades. Step 5 is wind and sun curing. This is where nature finishes the job. After treatment, Viking timber was air-cured outdoors, not indoors. 
Exposure to wind and sun hardened the resins and helped salt settle deeper into the fibers. This stage strengthened the char layer, polymerized oils, locked resins into the cellular structure, and, well, created a flexible shell that resisted cracking. In harsh Nordic climates, full of rain, wind, and salt air, the wood became tougher, not weaker. Step 6. Strategic Joinery Wood that survives without nails, Viking preservation wasn't only chemical, their joinery played a major role in longevity. They used tight mortise and tenon joints, wooden pegs that expanded when wet, and flexible plank overlaps that reduced stress cracks. With joints that could move subtly rather than tear apart, the wood experienced far less structural damage over time. You know, a well-designed joint is itself a rot defense system. Why does Viking wood outlast modern lumber? Well, while modern lumber is kiln-dried too quickly, filled with tension, chemically treated only on the surface, and vulnerable to ultraviolet rays and moisture, Viking timber was seasoned slowly, mineralized by salt, charred to resist water, saturated with natural polymers, and hardened by sun and wind. The combined method produced wood that could last hundreds of years outdoors and even thousands underwater, something, honestly, that today's products still struggle to match. A timeless strategy worth reviving. Modern eco-builders are rediscovering Viking methods because they are, you know, non-toxic, long-lasting, cheap, environmentally sustainable, and proven over more than 1,000 years. And, they beat nearly every commercial product sold today. The Vikings weren't just master shipbuilders, they were master wood preservers. Their forgotten strategy remains honestly one of history's most powerful natural defenses against rot, decay, and time.